everyone, it's me again, Clem from Clem Travlog. I'm currently at Dalesford, a town in Victoria. And today, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a day tour in Dalesford. So today, me, Elaine and Jensen, uh, we will be doing some uh, day tour in Dalesford. There will be around 12 landmarks that we're going to visit, including this, the first place, a historical heritage listed Dalesford Railway Station. So this historical heritage listed railway station was built in around 1880 and they closed at 1978. So after that, around 1980s, they reopened but used as a tourist railway. So let me give you a little bit introduction about Dalesford. So Dalesford is a spa town located in Victoria at the foothill of the Great Dividing Range. It is roughly around 100 kilometers away from Melbourne CBD at the northwest side of Melbourne CBD. The first recorded European settler in this area was back in 1838 by a pastoralist and landlord who owned a lot of lands in Victoria during the early settlement. His name is John Hibbon. And then by around the Victorian Gold Rush era, around 1851, uh, the first gold in this area was found by uh, another pastoralist. His name is James Egan. And then uh, gold activities started along with uh, other nearby towns like Balara, Benigo and Castamine. So a few years later, which is around 1854, a town named Wombat was surveyor, which is today, Dalesford. Because on the following year, which is around 1855, they renamed the town into Dalesford after the historical Dalesford house once owned by the former governor of India under British Empire. His name is Warren Hastings. Anyway, this is a little bit additional knowledge for you for this fort. Alright, since that today is not Sunday, the tree is not operating, there's no visitor here, there's no one working here, there's no information about regarding the history about this train station. And it's so foggy, so we decided to jump to the second landmark, which is our breakfast location, a local icon, a cafe known as Cliffy Emporium. We go to eat! So less than one minute drive from the railway station, we actually reached the second landmark known as the Clifty Emporium, a local cafe in the area. Iconic cafe for the locals. It was known as Cliffley Horses General Store back in 1950s, famous for an extraordinary range of produce, groceries, and farm supplies. Today, the heart and soul of this legendary store have been lovingly preserved and became one of the region's best known cafe. So done our breakfast at this Cliffy Emporium and the damage is around $83, quite cheap and the portion is actually quite big. So now we're going to walk to uh, the other end of the street and to receive the third length spot, uh, the deals for Chocolate Company. Let's go, just down there. Just yep. sip so the spices don't settle on the blood. Okay, okay yep. Too hot, too okay. Milky, and marshmallow. Thank, Thank you, you very much. So
Jensen having a kids hot chocolate, Lee having classic semi duck, and I have something challenging chili duck hot chocolate. This dark chocolate with chili, but spicy enough to taste the sweetness of chocolate first, and then you feel the aftertaste in cups later. So we spent short time enjoy the very good quality of chocolate here, hot chocolate. So having hot chocolate with chili, mm, I love it. I have a bit of chat with the business owner. According to her, this building has been here since 1850. It's more than 100 years old building, and then changed hands from a shop, grain shop to a cheese shop, and I become a chocolate company now. Oh, nice. So a bit of history again. Anyway, now we're going to head down to uh, the gallery uh, in the town centre. Heart of Deals for Town Centre, founded in 2004. It is a gallery for pottery and artisans of the local area. Not only I was able to appreciate little known but amazing artworks that are being displayed, I was also able to enjoy the heritage buildings of the town centre through the window of the shop. So the front this is the Deals for Post Office and next to it, now it's the information, it's a formerly a fire station. There's the town hall of Deals for Street view. So we spent a bit of time at the gallery appreciating some of the local art displays. So it's a good opportunity to appreciate someone's artwork. And now we're going to head to uh, the fifth location, the Hip Burn Distillery, uh, which is famous for producing smooth and full body vodka and gin. The brand Hip Burn, a famous Australian local brand producing quality gin and vodka. Named after the local township, Hebron Springs, as well as the former local pioneer, John Hebron. It is an award-winning distillery with the cold, spur country climate and mineral-rich soil, as well as abundant rainfall. They produce smooth, full body and bursting with flavour gin and vodka. This yeah, is a trend from yeah. saffron. Yeah. And this one here actually has little bits of saffron staping in the bottle there. Mm -hmm. You can see. Yeah. We won gold this year at the London Vodka Awards. Mm -hmm. Okay. World Vodka Awards in London, rather. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's a very full body, very smooth. So this vodka is actually made from potato and it's a gold award winning vodka in London. To be honest, if I buy this vodka, I will finish the whole bottle. Like strong full body flavour, but it's smooth. Wow, a fantastic experience at this Hebron Distillery. Uh, yeah, we tried some very good quality of vodka and gin. Of course, we bought one bottle of vodka and one bottle of gin. Uh, each bottle cost us like $89 and for the tasting, $15 for three shots. Now, we're going to head to uh, the next destination. Alright, this is our sixth destination. Where are we? We are at Amazing Meal Market. Let's go! So this place is a bit more like a local flea market.
we did a quick browse in the amazing meal. So now we're gonna head to a home back hill mineral spring, have a look of the Lake Dales Fort. Alright, so now we at Lake Dales Fort. See, see, look, look. Dillsford is a spa town, the full of a lot of mineral hot spring. At the front, there's a fountain. I believe it's a water fountain of mineral water. Let's go have a look. This is the Wombat Flat Spring. Magnesium, sodium, calcium, bicarbonate, natural mineral water. It's weird. The water from the natural mineral water mineral spring is untreated. Oh my god! Water in the mineral water is tested regular, but its quality and safety cannot be guaranteed. Oh my god! Can I get diarrhea? Blah. Our next destination is actually a botanical garden known as Wombat Hill Botanical Garden. So, according to a lot of sources, this Wombat Hill Botanical Garden is the most beautiful place in the whole Dales Fort. So we're heading there. Botanical Garden is actually built on top of an uh, extinct volcano. All right, all right. Now we are at this uh, Botanical Garden. It's located on top of a volcano. So at the front, there's a tower. We can go explore, see what it is. There is an old artillery here. Uh, I'm not sure why is this cannon here because if they fire the cannon, it should be hitting the trees. So this Botanical Garden is a heritage listed park established in 1861 and there's some information about this whole place So apparently, according to the information, this is known as the Pine Memorial Tower construction in 1938 Let's go have a look So it says that this tower is dedicated to the Pines of Dillsford I reached the top of the tower. This tower is actually built on top of this volcano, extinct volcano. So I say this built on top of this volcano. From far here, I can see a few more mountains. From the ship, it looks actually looks like another volcano cones. I think it might be one of them is the Mount Franklin and Mount Maxidon. Yeah, we just came back down here. Whew, it's a bit scary because I am actually afraid of height. You can see far. You can actually see the whole town of Dillsford. Anyway, good experience. What is this little? things for. Actually remind me of 300. The queue, all the bodies I throw inside. Whoa. Look at this tree. It is so special. Feel special. Feel special. Boy with a thorn. So this is the place that we're going to have lunch, the Wombat Hill House. Wow, food is here, lunch time! everyone after our lunch now we at the, the other side of the botanical garden the Dillsford convent is another historical building in the area so here we go so much climbing how much gradient 20% gradient how much elevation are you climbing 50 elevation <laughs> Ooh, 
Maybe a sculpture. Sculpture. More sculpture. 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 And more sculpture. Sculpture everywhere. So I believe during spring, this garden should be quite pretty after the, all the flower blossom. But now because it's winter now, So look at this building, it's actually a Victorian era. What's Victorian era? That's mean the building built according to the Queen Victoria era. Those type of uh, design we call Victorian era. By the way, have a look. You can see the township of Delsort. So we spent around uh, 15 minutes browsing around. Appreciate the structure design. So now we're gonna head to the next destination, which is the Delsort Cider Company. Wow, look at that. Tiny little entrance. Hey, these are all we're gonna have. So Jensen is going to have your non-alcoholic sparkling apple juice. You like it? Yay! Okay. It's sparkly for tongue. Alright, so now we're going to start trying. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 types of ciders. So that's the one, the spice cider that we want to buy. $24 per bottle. There you go, sir. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so we're going to head to another nearby place known as Passing Cloud. It's a local winery. Alright everyone, now we are at the second last destination at the back. This is a winery known as Passing Cloud. Passing the Cloud. Anyway, yeah. So we're going to do a bit of wine tasting. I need to drive, so I'm not going to be doing the wine tasting. We'll be Elaine doing it. Elaine did all the wine tasting and she only buy one of it, the Riesling. And we're gonna head to uh, our last stop, another Heritage Lister railway station. Quite far from here, it's gonna be a massive long ride for six minutes. <laughs> Apparently, I'm gonna show you a little bit of this place. This little shelter is actually a railway station. What? Railway station? Yes, it's a railway station. Part of this Dillsford line, the railway station is no longer being used. It was built for this passing cloud winery. It's just a stop to load and unload the wine during the old days. Currently, I'm at this Bulato railway station. This is the final landmark that I'm going to visit. So this Bulato railway station, located at the township of Bulato, actually is out already outside of Dillsford. It is part of the Dillsford line. It actually built in the year of around 1880, closed in the year of 1978, and reopened as a tourist railway. So that's why you can see the railway line is still maintained in a good condition. So what's so special about this railway line? Look at this. 2,452. It actually is the second highest railway station in the whole Victoria. Which one is the first one? I did a research actually. The first taller railway station being recorded is somewhere near the border of Victoria and New South Wales, which is a demolished railway line. So the railway station is no more to be seen. It's called Shanley Railway Station. They're located on a former township of Shelley. Anyway, 
I think that's it for this adventure. So we're happy and we're gonna go home now. Of course, I will put all the useful information link in the description and the location address. You can go and have a look. Hopefully it helps. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next adventure. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the like, subscribe my channel, and share it to everyone. Leave a comment if you have any feedback for me.